Hi, and welcome to the brand new section, Reinforcement Learning. In this section, we will see topics such as setting up a Markov decision process, performing model-based learning, performing model-free learning. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with setting up a Markov decision process. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to set up RL models using MDP, Toolbox, and R. Reinforcement learning is an area in machine learning that is inspired by psychology, such as how agents can take actions in order to maximize cumulative rewards. The RL is reward-based learning, where the reward comes at the end or is distributed during the learning. For example, in chess, the reward will be assigned to winning or losing the game, whereas in games such as tennis, every point won is a reward. Some of the commercial examples of RL are DeepMind for Google uses RL to master park hour. Similarly, Tesla is developing AI-driven technology using RL. An example of reinforcement architecture is shown in this figure. The basic motivations for RL are shown. T of S A S bar represents the transition model for searching state S bar when action A is taken at state S. Next, P represents a policy which defines what action to take at every possible state. R of S denotes the reward received by agent at state S. The Markov decision process, MDP, forms the base of setting up RL, where the outcome of a decision is semi-controlled, that is, it is partially random and partially controlled by the decision maker. An MDP is defined using a set of possible states, S, a set of possible actions, A, a real values reward function, R, and a set of transition probabilities from one state to another for a given action, T. In addition, the effects of an action performed on one state depends only on that state and not on its previous states. Now let us define an agent traveling across a 4 by 4 grid, as shown here in this figure. This grid has 16 states. In each state, the agent can perform 4 actions up, right, down, and left. However, the agent will be restricted to some actions based on these constraints. The states across the edges shall be restricted to actions which point only towards states in the grid. For example, an agent in S1 is restricted to the right or down action. Some state transitions have barriers, marked in red. For example, the agent cannot go down from S2 to S3. Each state is also assigned to a reward. The objective of the agent is to reach the destination with minimum moves thereby achieving the maximum reward. Except state S15 with a reward value of 100, all the remaining states have a reward value of negative 1. Now we will see how to set up RL models using MDP Toolbox in R. First, install and load the required package. Define the transition probabilities for action. Here, each row denotes from state and each column denotes to state. As we have 16 states, the transition probability matrix of each action shall be a 16 by 16 matrix, with each row adding up to 1. After this, define a list of transaction probability matrices using this command. Next, define a reward matrix of dimensions. 16, that is the number of states by 4, that is number of actions. At the end test, whether the defined TPMS and rewards satisfy a well-defined MDP. If it returns an empty string, then the MDP is valid. We have come to the end of this video. In this video, we have used the MDP toolbox package in R.